Got a uh, special beer here that uh, he chose, and it uh, has a nice number seven on it. I'll explain that in a while. Got a glass that matches. Why'd you pick this one? Because of Ronaldo. Ronaldo is his favorite soccer player. And I got some goodness. And I guess he's trying to fruit sack. Okay, <clears throat> pardon me. This is from Microphone Brewing. It's from their seventh anniversary party last year. They released seven special beers. Came with the glass that has the same logo. This one we are trying is their Barrel Age Imperial Stout, conditioned in uh, Mostra Maka Matari Yemen coffee beans. So, uh, Yemen? Yemen's a country, you know that. I know. So, yeah. So, basically, it was Barrel Age with uh, coffee beans, special coffee beans. So, we'll see what we got here. Obviously, uh, with it being Barrel Age style, you're expecting a heavy dark pour here. Some chocolate notes pulled out from the uh, wood itself. Want to see how strong this coffee is? So, so that was made in Yemen. No, the bean, the coffee beans are from Yemen. So as you could expect, kind of a nice darker, almost completely black pour. Nice little bit of brown head on top of there. That seven logo coming through. I'll be back. Guess he'll be back. On the nose, I'm getting definitely getting the coffee beans right up front. Yeah, that is coming through strong. It almost smells just like a pot of coffee with some hint of chocolate thrown in there too. What do you smell? That's a great flake, that great face there. So meaning I'll probably really love it. Did it smell like coffee? Yeah. See? One more little, oh, okay. I want to sip a little. You're not having a sip of that. Um, can I smell it? So more? yeah, you can smell. So it definitely has the uh, mouth feel that you'd expect, a little thicker on the tongue as it sits there. I know what that is. I know how many percent that is. How many? 14. Is it? He is guessing 14. I'm guessing it's somewhere right around that. Usually their beers are. Uh, but you definitely get chocolate right up front with it. The coffee comes in at the back end. It kind of just sits there with you as it uh, finishes up. And it just kind of lingers in there. It's not overpowering. It's not too strong. Uh, like I said, it starts out pretty thick, but as it goes down, it's pretty smooth, actually. It doesn't drink like a heavy ABV that you would expect with a stout. Yeah, that coffee really punches you towards the end, though. It sits there. It lingers. And you get the coffee beans for sure. Uh, but, yeah, it's very delicious. Uh it's very unique. It kind of has a nice transition as you drink it from the chocolate to the coffee. Nothing super overpowering. Nothing is really controlling it. But it is a good mixture. And it just kind of flows as it goes down the throat for you. So I would highly recommend this one. Uh, if you're ever in the Chicagoland area, especially on the western suburbs, Schaumburg area, I would definitely recommend checking out Microphone. They do a great barrel-aged beers out there. and Just a lot of fun if you're a music fan. Uh, they got records uh, hanging on the walls, art decor. The tap handles are microphones themselves. Uh, all the beers are kind of just named after albums or artists, just music bases. So it's a really fun spot if you ever get a chance to get out there and check it out. Uh, but as for this beer, I'm going to rate it higher than the number on here. I really enjoyed it. The mouthfeel, the good transition, uh, the smooth ABV, not drinking as heavy as it uh, as it is. I uh, really enjoy it. I'm going to give this one a 9 out of 10. If you can get your hands on any of their uh, anniversary beers, I highly recommend doing so. Until next time, what do we say? Bye. He's just going to say bye. I'm going to oh, say cheers. And I'm going to say that is going to be a 4 out of 10. But if it was just chocolate, like a chocolate chip cookie, it would be a 10 out of 10. Well, there you go. If it was a cookie, it would be a 10 out of 10. But as a beer, I'm giving it a 9 out of 10. Bye, bye everybody.